So the mass spectrum of propanoic acid is shown below, and it's asking you which statement is true about the peak at mass over Z74. Now, first things first, okay? Um, D, the base peak is the one at 100%, okay? So the one at 100% is this one right here, which is less than 30. So the one at 74 is called your molecular iron peak, not your base peak. So that's off. And then another thing is your sample goes into the mass spectrum as a neutral atom, a neutral molecule. However, it does not get detected as a neutral molecule. Remember, because before it hits the magnetic field and before it hits the detector, it goes through an ionization chamber first. So the answer for D for C is also not correct. Yeah, because C show, gives you the formula as the neutral molecule. The neutral molecule does not create the peak. The charged molecule does. So in this case, because it's at the very end, which means it's the molecular iron peak, the molecule of just the electron knocked off, your answer for this one's going to be B, yeah? It's the same formula with square brackets and a positive charge on it. Because if you knock off an electron, an electron has a negative charge. So the, um, the molecule should have a positive charge on it to balance it out if it lost an electron. And A represents the parent ion containing the carbon-13 isotope you normally deal with carbon-12, okay? Notice how the 74 peak is higher than the 73 peak. Carbon-12 is more common than carbon-13, okay? So if um, if there was a peak right here, you might say that that's carbon-13, but this one is more likely to be carbon-12. The chances of that higher peak being carbon-13 is very unlikely because carbon-13 isn't a very common isotope. Carbon-12 is the one you see more. So A is not going to be the answer for that either.